after um, doing Hamlet, when you know that was a pretty relentless, grueling job, what made you decide to do this one, which was equally uh, grueling, in that you were in every scene every day, and, you, you, and it was six day weeks? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I, well, I, the reason I decided to do it is because it was so good. Um, I didn't really want to do anything after Hamlet. I must admit, I, I tried to bat everything away, and so I could just have um, the last few months of the year um, to sort of come to terms with it, because it was such a big deal. I was thinking about it all year, mm. and then before that, I did a, a, a job called Mad Dogs, which was um, then went straight on to Hamlet and then straight on to. The, so I wasn't going to do anything after that, but. The reason I did this was because it was so good. The script was so good, and I thought if I don't do this, then someone, some other actor, is going to yeah. do it, and yeah. uh, I'll sit there biting my knuckles as I watch it. Um, yeah, one, one of the best scripts I've read for. Yeah, from why that? What was what was about? What was it about the script that appealed to you or the role? It was, it was kind of it kind of went back to to what I usually what I used to do before I did like I did like the popular sort of big hit shows like Life on Mars and, and Doctor Who. <laughs> but before that, I was, did like, things like Never Never and State of Play and, and Clocking Off and The Lakes and things like that. And it was kind of like a... It just harked back to what I used to be known for. And it was so good. The script was so good. It was, it was up there with, with Jimmy McGovern and Paul mm. Abbott. You mm. know, that good. And so there was no question of mm. not being able to do it. 